Hello everyone, welcome back from uh, to my daily reading for May the 20th. Tuesday, what's going on here? Pull the dragonfly, I pulled the, the dove, and then the eight of cups. And I'm using the mini deck. This is the, the Hanson Roberts, the mini deck, it's cute. Anyway, which I'm glad I did because these cards are kind of wide. It takes up like my whole screen here, it's kind of ridiculous. Anyway, so dragonfly, card of transcendence, okay? Okay, there's unexpected guidance. Something's going to come your way, some sort of energy, some help. Okay, this can be outside help. I like how this this leopard is in the background peeking right behind her. It's like you're getting some sort of help from someone. Unexpected, unexpected place, unexpected help. Um, someone emerges that you didn't think could help you or they're going to help you with the situation. But they're going to help you transcend. Okay, they're going to help you get up out of this situation. They're going to help you get up out of this marsh. Okay? The, the dove, symbol of peace, harmony, love, okay? So, this help comes to you, and you're able to find the hope. And here comes, you know, the, the story of the, the dove with the branch in the mouth, and it's, it's about the, uh, the, you know, what is the biblical, the Noah, Noah's Ark, you know? And it's, um, this is symbolic of hope, because there's dry land ahead, right? So you're coming out of the mar coming up out of the marsh. And there's dry land at hand. There's some kind of hope for you. Okay, there's peace. Peace is coming. You just have to get away from this type of situation here. The Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is a usually the you know the oh walking away from sorrows and all these things and major disappointments. But really, in light of these cards, the Eight of Cups is saying. Let me bring it closer. There's a small little card here. You just need to literally move away, uh, move to higher ground to gain a vantage point, um, get away from the situation, just walk away. It's not about leaving all these sorrows behind and all this stuff. It's not about that. It's really just removing yourself physically. When you remove yourself physically, you can also detach emotionally, you know, and that will work, work wonders for you. Okay, so there's a detachment. So today's message is. You have to learn how to detach yourself physically so that you're able, you know, to mentally and emotionally get yourself, you know, on level, okay? On the level. It sounds very simple, but it's not. It's not simple. It's not easy to remove yourself physically because you have that wanting, that urge to stay there with that person in that situation with the group you know this is this is generally speaking right and you may even say to yourself i there's no way i can possibly manage to detach myself oh no i'm 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 stuck here i'm stuck here and there's too much going on there's no way i can possibly detach myself yes there is you just have to do it you just have to take that leap of faith you just have to literally bit one baby step at a time and move yourself up out of this situation in order to reach that peace that you're seeking okay you can do it even when you think that you're stuck and you can't help is you're gonna have an unexpected some sort of source of help a helping hand unexpected friend ally whatever and they're gonna help you get away from this situation okay they're gonna help you get away from it because there is something positive on the horizon for you okay something positive the promise of something positive. The promise of peace. And there's the rainbow right there, right? So, that's very good. I hope this is somehow guiding you, whether you see this today, tomorrow, a month from now, three years from now, I don't know. But I hope this message is reaching you at the time that you need to hear it. Have a blessed day always, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.